Tonight, the underdog Royals face the mighty Dodgers in a clash of titans. Can the Royals defy the odds and pull off a miracle? It's a battle of skill, strategy, and heart. Will the Dodgers dominate or will the Royals rise to the occasion? Stay tuned to witness the drama unfold on the diamond. This is a showdown you won't want to miss. Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm back here with my Royals season. And uh, let's go to the main page and uh, take a look at who we are taking on today. We're going to the manager's office, and we are taking on the L.A. Dodgers. Now, actually, if you saw the title of the video, you know we're taking on the L.A. Dodgers, but... Um, that is who we're going to play. It's going to be Walker Bueller today, pitching against our man, Eric Lauer. And Eric Lauer is coming in 9-5 and five with a 459 earned run average. Bueller comes in with an 8-5 and five record and a 486 ERA, surprisingly bad for Walker Bueller. But we are going to take a look at the uh, standings right now. And here we are. We're 44. Four and eighty-one, terrible. We are uh, last in runs scored. We are twenty-eighth in average. We're twenty-sixth in home runs. We're twenty-seventh in ERA, and we're tied for seventeenth in strikeouts. And we're twenty-eighth in defensive efficiency. So we're having a bad year. Is really what I'm trying to trying to tell you here. And we're taking on the LA Dodgers, who are seventy-five and forty-eight. So, um, I don't, you know, I don't think we should uh, dilly-dally anymore here. Let's get on with this game. Uh, okay, we have everybody healthy. I mean, Perez is, you know, he's winding down, but then again, that's not surprising. Um, I mentioned what Lauer is doing on the year and what Bueller is doing on the year, but let's look at the Dodgers lineup. They are going to uh, start with uh, Jose Ramirez. I guess they got him from Cleveland. Again, this is out-of-the-park baseball. These teams make trades on their own. Doesn't necessarily <clears throat> reflect anything from real life. And then you've got Vargas at DH. Freddie Freeman at first base, Mookie Betts in right field, Brian Reynolds in center, uh, Will Smith at catcher, Michael Brantley in left, Kevin Newman at shortstop, and Garrett G G Gavin Lux at second base. For us, we're going to line up as Michael Massey leading off and playing second base. Hunter Dozier at third base. Um, he's come on lately, so I'm going to keep him in the lineup. Perez at catcher batting third. Pasquatino at first base. Fran Mil Reyes at DH. Um, Cross in right field. Kyle Isbell in center. MJ Melendez in left. And Eddie Rosario at shortstop. And so with all of that out of the way... We're getting on with the game. And again, we are home. Most of these games, it just so happens I do the home games. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, Jose Ramirez, you can see, is going to be batting against Eric Lauer. So let's get this game on with. There you go. Nice panoramic view of Royal Stadium, Kauffman Stadium, whatever it's called. And um, we are just about ready to get underway here. And Lauer's first offering, and he and he walks Ramirez. So that is not good. We got a man aboard with Miguel Vargas, the DH, and they try to steal, and he's out by a mile and a half. So that's one down, nice and quick. Um, and so here's Miguel Vargas again, and he's going to strike out. So Lauer has the first two outs um, with a little help from his catcher on the first guy. And that's Freddie Freeman, and you know he's going uh, hes going to get a base hit. That dude can hit. I mean, that dude, he can still hit. He's getting older, but he's, he's fine. Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts is going to pop out to first base, and Pasquatino makes the play. So uh, we got out of that inning, and now we're up batting against Walker Bueller. Not having a great year for him, and Michael Massey is going to be the batter. In the world of out-of-the-park baseball, Massey is pretty good. In real life, he had a bad season in 2023, 
And I think he's going to start the year either on the IL in real life or on the bench. But I think it's IL. I think he's got some kind of thing going on with him. Hunter Dozier is the batter, and he strikes out. So that brings up Selvi, and Selvi strikes out. So let's see if we waste this effort by Massey to get that leadoff double, and we probably are going to, and we do. So, no runs for us in the first. We're going to the top of the second inning. Brian Reynolds is the batter. And he is going to get a base hit to left field. Might want to take a look at him, make sure that he doesn't steal. So, let's do a pitch out. And, uh, ooh, struck him out. Now we're going to do the pitch out again, because I think he might want to, yeah, he wanted to go. Yeah, he did. So, um, Brantley is the batter, and that is going to be a walk. So, now we've got two guys on with only one out here in the second inning. And you can see dusk is starting to set in with Kevin Newman stepping in, and uh, Selby drops the pitch. So, the runners will move up to second and third with only one away here. And that is going to be an out, and the left fielder, did he throw him out? He, he did. He must have thrown him out. <laughs> nice. So uh, we've got Gavin Lux, the batter. Or no, no, he didn't throw him out. Um, he just didn't go. So all right. So we stopped him from going, and um, no runs. And Fran Meal is up. Fran Meal is going to be out. A long fly ball to center field. And um, here comes Gavin Cross. We got the Gavins in this game. Gavin Cross and Gavin Lux. And here is Kyle Isbell. And he is going to strike out. So there is... That is it, and we're going back out to the field, but we're playing a close game here with the Dodgers in the third inning. It's only 0-0, and that is going to be a base hit. Ramirez gets on again. Let's do the pitch out, because last time he tried to steal, although last time we got him without even looking at him, so maybe we should have just enticed him to try to steal there, too. As we, as we will right now. And that's going to be a strikeout. Man, Lauer is on top of his game here. And that's going to be a base hit. The left fielder doesn't play it. He chooses not to. So runners are at first and second. <clears throat> and that's a strikeout. And we get out of the inning. And we're going to the bottom of the third inning with MJ Melendez up. And MJ is going to be out. He just flies out. And uh, you got you got E guy Ramirez Rosario E guy Rosario. I thought it was uh, all right, whatever. Michael Massey, Michael Massey, who's got our only hit, I think, and he's going to have a second hit. Michael Massey's going to be two for two, two for two, and here comes Hunter Dozier. And Hunter Dozier lines a base hit right between third and short. We've got two guys on, two guys down. Selvi in a key position, and he pops up to the infield. Thank you, Selvi. So we take that 0-0 game to the top of the fourth with Lauer still going. Still going strong, and that's going to be a fly out to left field, one down. And, uh, yeah, and he's not even breaking a sweat yet. And Brantley is the batter. Brantley is going to fly out to left. Left fielder getting a workout right here. And Kevin Newman. Hello, Newman. And he's going to strike out. So we go back to the bottom of We go back on offense. We go back into the dugout. And we're coming back out here with Pasquatino. That's going to be a strikeout. So both of these pitchers coming in with, uh, you know, um, lackluster statistics, but they're pitching their butts off, although there's a walk right there. Bueller walking our man, and then Gavin Cross. And Gavin Cross is going to strike out. So we got a man at first, two down now. 
And Kyle Isbell. And Kyle Isbell ripping one. He's ripping one, but it's to left field. So the left fielder plays the ball. And we're going to the top of the fifth. And as long as, you know, as long as Lauer can keep this up, I'm all for it. Uh, next batter is Jose Ramirez. He's been on twice with two hits. And again, and now he walks. Ramirez is just, he's an on-base machine this game. And then there's going to be a home run, and that's going to give the Dodgers the 2 nothing lead, the good 2 nothing lead, because our offense is really not that good, you know. Um, Newsflash. And that's going to be a fly out to right. So there's two down, and Mookie Betts is the batter. And he's going to rip a nice base hit. And the left fielder, again, chooses not to play the ball. And Brian Reynolds is the batter. And he's going to walk. So now Lauer is just falling apart. He's falling apart on the fly here. But he strikes the guy out. So they only get the two runs. But, you know, I mean, let's face it, that might be enough. Um, I'm going to go to the bullpen. And let's get Albert Elzele up in the bullpen pen and we're gonna go mj melendez batting against walker bueller and that's a base hit he rips a base hit to center and here we got egai rosario egai rosario and that's a base hit nice first two guys have reached we're down by two we could, we could uh, catch up here. Michael Massey, our main man. And that is going to be a pass ball. Moves the runners up to second and third with no outs. And Massey with a man 90 feet away and 180 feet away. And he walks to load the bases. We got Ducks on the pond. And Hunter Dozier is the batter. And he is going to strike out. I thought maybe he walked there for a second, but no. So we got one down, Ducks on the pond, Salvador Perez, big key situation in this game, and he gets thrown out in a double play. Is that is it a double play? No, it wasn't a double play, but he did, uh, there was a force at home plate, so we didn't get a run. The bases are still loaded, but now with Pasquatino up. And he walks, so uh, Bueller walks a run in. It's 2-1, to one. and here comes Fran Mil Reyes. Fran Mil Reyes strikes out. So we're still in this thing. I'm going to let Lauer go as long as he can possibly go because um, we don't want to burn through the bullpen. Never really want to do that. And Newman is up, and he's not quite gashed yet anyway. That's going to be a ground ball to third, and we make the play. Now I will bring him in because we're down to our last out of the inning. So we're going to assume Elzele can get this last out here for him, and then we can go to the top of the seventh and try to get the other run that would tie the game, and maybe more. But Elzele gives up a base hit, though, and uh, Jose Ramirez is the batter. And Jose Ramirez is going deep, and that is going to be off the wall. That's going to be a double, maybe a triple, a triple indeed. And so um, Ramirez knocks in a run, and the Dodgers have a 3-1 to one lead here. And um, Elzele, you know, I was thinking maybe you could get that last out but uh, without any damage done, but that didn't happen. So we're going to the top of the seventh, down 3-1 to the Dodgers. Now that's still pretty good considering how well the Dodgers are doing and looking at that lineup. And they do have a reliever on now. And that is going to be a walk. So Gavin Cross leads off with a walk against uh, Sadler, Casey Sadler. And Kyle Isbell is the batter! And he's going to rip it down the line! We can tie this game, people! We can tie this thing up. And uh, the dude's coming home, and he makes it. I have to assume he makes it because he didn't even try to slide. So it is three to 3-2, and a man's at second base with Melendez up. So they did the same thing. They brought a reliever in, and the guy just imploded. 
And uh, our guy is going to move to third. So there's only one away with a man 90 feet away now. And Eguy Rosario, the shortstop, is the batter. And he's going to get down. Yes! And the game is tied. We're tied at three here. And have a man at first. And I am going to try to see if he can steal second. I don't even know if he's got good speed. I don't even know. And he is running, and he is going to make it. Did he make it? He did. So Rosario steals second base, and Michael Massey is now up with a man at second, and he strikes out. Man, that was not the situation to do that. And then Hunter Dozier is the batter. Hunter Dozier is going deep and gives us a lead. We are we're leading the L.A. Dodgers here. Is that unbelievable or what? I knew Dozier had it in him, man. I mean, that's I've been playing that guy lately. So Patrick Sandoval is now on to pitch against Selvi. And that's going to be a strikeout. I thought maybe a walk, but no. Now we got to hope Elzele just doesn't keep falling apart on us. And that's going to be a ground ball to Pasquatino for the out. Next guy comes up, and it is Mookie Betts. And Mookie Betts, you know, he can't even tie the game. So I'm going to pitch to him, and that is a nice leaping grab by the shortstop, Rosario. And that brings up Brian Reynolds. And Brian Reynolds is going to smoke one to center field, but we got a guy there. We got a guy. So I am going to get somebody up in the bullpen because now we got something to play for here. I am going to get, um, I'm going to say let's get Barlow up. I mean, Barlow should be better than he's pitched this year. And I know that's the kiss of death to say that, but he really should. But we're going to have Pasquatino up in the meantime, lefty on lefty here. And he is going to walk. Nice. Nice. And that brings up Fran Meal. Fran Meal has some power. He could go deep. But he doesn't. He strikes out. Uh, there is one down. And Gavin Cross is the batter. And Gavin Cross strikes out. There's two down quickly now. And we've got Kyle Isbell up. And Kyle Isbell's going to rip a hit. What? Wait, was that a play? Was he out? No. No. <laughs> so, uh, Sandoval is getting tired here, and Melendez is the batter. And that's going to be a walk to load him up. If we could just force in a couple more runs, I think we would win this game. E-Guy, here he is. The E-Guy is up. And he is going to strike out. So we don't get that. But I'm going to the pen. And we're going to bring in Barlow. And Barlow on the year, as you can see, has a 6.17 earned run average. And as I say, he really should pitch better than that. So I got to believe that, you know, you got you to gotta keep giving people their, their shot. And that's going to be a ground out to short. So that's nice. One down quickly. Which brings up Brantley again, who in real life is retiring. And in real life was last on the Astros. And he gets a base hit between first and second because the first and second baseman just kind of looked at each other and said, hey, there's a ball going right between us. And that's going to be a ground ball. They did the hit and run, though. So they move the runner to second, and a man is out at first. And there's two down with Gavin Lux up. And Gavin Lux strikes out. Nice. Barlow gets out of that inning. We're in the bottom of the eighth. And um, I'm not going to warm anybody up just yet. Maybe the last batter of the inning. But Michael Massey is up right now. And he's going to strike out. Next batter is Hunter Dozier. Hunter Dozier. Send the center fielder back to the wall. But he makes the play back there. And there is two down, and Selvi is up. And Selvi is going to strike out. And I forgot to do that, but I am going to warm somebody up now because we want to be ready if he starts to fall apart. Um, I'm going to get Graveman up. 
Graveman up in the pen. So let's hope that um, Barlow doesn't fall apart here. He does get it. He does allow a deep fly ball, but the left fielder was there to make the play. There's one down, and Miguel Vargas is the batter. And he's going to bounce one. Barlow decides not to play the ball very well. He does a lollipop throw over to first. So the man is safe at first, and Freddie Freeman is the batter. Now, Freddie Freeman could tie this game right here, and he does. Thank you, Freddie Freeman. So, thank you, Barlow. I mean, you know. So it's 5-5 in the ninth inning, and uh, now Barlow is tired. And he walks a man, and now our, our guy, Graveman, should be ready, and he is, but I probably waited a little too long. This is a good game, though. It's a good game against a good team. <coughs> and that is going to be a base hit right past the shortstop. And they hold him at second, so it's first and second with one down. And that's going to be a walk. So, yeah, we're just falling apart here. Graveman, particularly. Let's see if that's a double play. It is. Yes, we needed that. All right, if we can get a run, we win the game. It's the bottom of the ninth, and we need a run. And Evan Phillips. Now, Evan Phillips is a good relief pitcher. That guy is no joke, and he gets he induces a fly ball to center field. Next guy is Fran Meal Reyes. Fran Meal strikes out. And of course, you know we're playing under the new rules, so um, we'll you know they'll put that ghosty runner at second. I hate that rule, by the way. I absolutely hate it. But they are going to, oh yeah, can't play the ball. Is that going to be a triple? No, it's a double. It's a double, but if we can get a double from the next guy, or even a long single, we can win the game. And Kyle Isbell is really not the guy to be doing that, but maybe he does. No, he doesn't. It's caught by the left fielder. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We got a ghosty at second. I hate that rule. I, did I mention I hate that rule? It's stupid. It is just an asinine rule. We throw the guy out at first, so there's one down. I'm not even going to bring the infield in. I'm just not even going to do it. We're just going to concede the run and then hope that, you know, we can pull off a double play here or something. Ramirez is the batter. Of course, he's been on all day. And they did we throw him out at the plate? We did. Nice. Nice absolutely nice and now the next batter and he is going to strike out so now again i'm going to warm somebody up in the bullpen and we have our little ghosty runner at second our cute little ghosty runner i'm going to warm up colby white and uh melendez is the batter so they're going through, the Dodgers are going through their bullpen just as fast as we are. Bobby Miller or Milner or something like that. What is his name? Bobby Miller, yeah, he's up pitching. And one down, Rosario is the batter. And he strikes out. And, uh, oh, I got to get somebody up, don't I? No, I did. All right, I did, yeah. So um, Michael Massey is the batter. Like to see a base hit here. We don't get it. So we're going to the 11th inning. Again with the ghosty at second. And Graven not really gashed yet. So I'm going to let him stay out there. At least for the first two outs. Now he is almost there. He's almost gassed. But he induces a pop up. And there's two down. So now I am going to go to Colby White. Now let's hope Colby White doesn't crap the bed like Elzele did. We're going to put him in and hope he can handle this. And he does strike the guy out. So the Dodgers don't score, and we go uh, now we go to the bottom of the 11th. We've got our ghosty at second. Hunter Dozier, I am not bunting with Hunter Dozier. And they, ha, <laughs> the catcher drops the ball. So now we just need a fly ball by Dozier, man. Just a fly ball and we win the game. But he decides to strike out, which doesn't help us at all. Salvador Perez, come on, Salvi. Salvi! 
come on, is that enough? It is going to be enough. And we win the game. We beat the Dodgers. Can you believe it? So, yeah. I mean, we go to 45-81, and 81, which is not good. But we do beat the Dodgers 6-5 in extra innings. It was awesome. Massey was 2-for-5. Dozier was 2-for-6 with two RBIs. Uh, Lauer went five and two thirds, allowed six hits and two earned runs. Elzele went one and a third and allowed a run. Barlow went one and a third and allowed two runs, two earned runs. And then Graveman and White shut them down from there. And so we are out of there and we will finish today. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.